So welcome to my students. Once again, welcome back to our science class. In last lecture, we studied about the respiration in plants. Now, once again, uh, we start with respiration in animals. Now, as we know, animals are categorized in different ways. Unicellular uh, organism, multicellular organism, terrestrial, aquatic, small insects, those uh, who are uh, living inside the soil. So, in all different types of uh, animals, what is the respiratory organ or how the process of respiration takes place? Let us discuss about this. So now, respiration in animals. In simple unicellular animals, example, you are doing amoeba, amoeba, paramecia, euglena. So here, respiration takes place through the cell membrane and process, processes by diffusion. You are knowing what is diffusion, it is movement of particles from higher concentration to lower concentration. Then animals which live in soil, means inside the, the soil. What, how they respire? They use their skin for respiration. Their skin only absorb uh, oxygen or air from the surrounding and then it circulates throughout the body and then uh, takes carbon dioxide from all over the parts of the body and brings us back to the skin. So this is process in animals which we can solve. Then aquatic animals. Aquatic animals, they use oxygen which is dissolved in the water. And the portion of dissolved uh, oxygen is very less. And therefore, then the rate of respiration or the rate of respiration in aquatic animals is very high. It is very faster. It is a very faster. Now here, they use heat. And then here, they absorb water from uh, through their uh, mouth slit. This water is being pushed to the gills. Gills are provided with blood capillaries and these blood capillaries absorb oxygen which is a compound with the water. And then water is being removed. Now insects, small insects like grasshoppers, then cockroaches even. They are having tiny holes on their body. These holes are known as spiracles. <coughs> they are having spiracles as well as air. <coughs> then, land animals, almost all even human beings uh, and all these uh, carnivores and carnivores animals, they are having lungs as their respiratory organ. Now actually what happens? Now as the air is being absorbed by the skin or reached which is absorbed by the skin reached to the lungs. What happens over here? So lungs again uh, is provided with lots of blood capillary which absorb Oxygen then and transport this oxygen to different tissues of the organism and then from different tissues it collects even carbon dioxide, it gives oxygen to the tissue and takes carbon dioxide back from the tissue. This carbon dioxide now is being taken back to the skin or lungs and from lungs or skin it is again being released to 
Now we will discuss about respiration in human beings. Respiratory system in human beings. It consists of nostrils, which is an upper organ. Then nasal cavity, then pharynx, then trachea, bronchus or bronchal, then bronchioles, and the organ. And main important is blood. Lungs is main respiration organ. Now, uh, we studied in last uh, lecture characteristics of the uh, respiratory person face. And in that, we uh, come to know about or uh, discuss about this respiratory surfaces are very thin. They are very thin. And that's why we need to be and that's why in higher organism, the respiratory organs they lie inside the body, they lie inside a protective cover. Now let us discuss uh, one after another. The very first thing it is mostly. Mostly it is outer totally, nasal totally. We are having two nostrils. These nostrils, uh, they take air from the atmosphere and then it opens the nasal cavity. What is nasal cavity? So, this forms a of our nose. These are nostrils to open in. This one is nasal cavity. So now nasal cavity, it is separated from oral cavity. It is totally different from oral cavity. Oral means our vocal cavity. Then this nasal cavity has central septum. Septum means a coordinate structure. Party septum. It has a central septum which divides the body into a pair of nasal passages. What goes on passage? This passage, nasal passage, is lying for CKD epithelial tissue. And mucus secreting cells. We are knowing our nasal cavity is having a head like structure and mucus inside. Why it is there? To prevent the entry of dust particles and some microbes which are already present in the atmosphere in the air. Now, here, the more function of the function of nasal cavity. Here, air is being blown up. The upper jaw cover, oxygen is the jaw cover, and the right. Nasal cavity may enter the leaf, both the receive on the leaf or moist water. And then, this nasal cavity, it ends in internal nostrils. Then, from here, Air passes through pharynx. What is pharynx now? So pharynx is a common passage for air as well as food. Remember, it is a common passage. This both the things enter the water. But what happens actually? It is having this pharynx opens into food and wind food. This is a wind pipe for the food part. We don't know. It is the case of the situation. Now, what makes this uh, food over? What 
prevents food by entering into a body that is a main thing over here. So there is a cartilaginous tract uh, of skin and it covers both the parts. When food enters the organ, the windpipe will be closed. When air enters the body, food pipe will be closed. So now, this uh, cartilaginous tract of skin which covers both the parts and it prevents entry of food or water or food and water into wind parts. Now this wind pipe opens into airflow. I'll uh, send you some pictures also so that you can uh, Understand it very clearly. This right here is almost 11 centimeters long and 2.5 centimeter in diameter. Walls of this right here again are 9 by simulated epithelium and uh, this mucus uh, secreting sense. What will be the function over here? Same to prevent and block dust particles and microbes. These walls of bacteria, they are having C cell means made up of cartilages. Or cartilage, or we can say it is protected by C cell cartilaginous means. What is function of this uh, green sea safe thing? So it prevents green part to get collapsed. Jab usme hama ni ho ki hai. Jab ho collapse na ho jai. This is the protection. This right here now we enter or we open into brown dress or the brown type. And this bronchi once again will be divided into bronchioles that we will discuss afterwards.